So in this second video, uh, we'll be looking at the implementations of uh, the abstract data type that is uh, the queue. Um, we, ta we talked about singly linked list as an implementation, arrays, and circular arrays. Um, um, it's very straightforward to implement it using a singly linked list. Um, it would basically be very intuitive. So the head would be here, tail here, and um, every time you you want to enqueue something, uh, you would put it at the tail of the list. So it's just like a normal queue. You would have people um, lining up at the tail and then being serviced at the head. So similarly here, if you wanted to add a new element, we'd add it to the to the to the tail and move the tail pointer to the end. And if we wanted to service someone at the front, so uh, DQ, then we would basically just uh, move the header pointer to the next element, and this element would be serviced and removed. Um, so um, the operations of enqueuing and dequeuing are very straightforward in single linked list. Uh, we could also implement it using arrays, but uh, we'll see that it's very inefficient to do it uh, in this manner. First of all, if you wanted to take an array and um, add elements, Okay, and then basically what you would do with these two operations is uh, suppose you wanted to enqueue a new uh, element, you would basically just add it to the end, okay? And when you wanted to service an element, you would um, remove it from the front because this was the first one in, so it's going to be the first one out. So remove this one. Well, what happens is that in order not to waste space, you're going to be shifting all these elements to the back, okay, of the array. So you keep on doing this every time you dequeue an element. Every time you remove an element, okay, suppose you wanted to remove this element, then you would have to do the same operation. Shift all of the elements that are left in the array backwards. And this, of course, is a wasteful operation. So its uh, time complexity uh, rises up really high. Um, it, we could be a little bit smarter and add a front pointer, okay? So this time we won't have to shift backwards and we would know where the front is. So we would leave some empty elements. So every time we would service one element, it would remain empty at the beginning, at the beginning, and we would still have our remaining elements. And we would have our front pointer that would tell us where the front is. And in the past we would rely on the fact that the front is always at position zero. Now we know our front pointer, so we don't have to shift backwards. So we remove this one, we just move our front pointer to the C and so on and so forth, and um, basically now we don't have to keep track, and now we don't have to shift them backwards, and this saves us a time complexity. But the problem arises uh, right now is that the uh, we have a, a wastage of space right here. So the time complexity was traded off for space complexity. Now we're going to have to um, basically create new arrays every time we need to to add elements so we're wasting space at the back and the operation of actually copying your elements from one array to a larger array could also be uh, uh, could also take a lot of time so basically it's very inefficient to do it with arrays a better solution would be to use circular arrays a circular array is basically just like a, nor a normal array but instead of uh, defining the ending at the end of the array well basically you don't have an ending anymore it simply loops back on itself and we could use these elements that would otherwise remain empty in a normal array we would use them for our uh, next elements that we add so um, if we had the list A, B, C, D and then we kept on adding elements and then um, suppose we removed one element and second one so we dequeued uh, and then we decided to add now instead of leaving that space at the beginning empty and creating a new array and moving all these elements in the new array as we would have done in a, in a normal array, what we do is we simply loop back and start adding our next element uh, at the front. So this way we make use of this space that was wasted in the normal array. Um, it's a very efficient way of implementing a queues and uh, if you want, when you want to place a new element it's important to to uh, know this formula basically it says that so we're still going to have our front pointer it's going to be important because our front is no longer going to be always at zero it's going to be moving along and um, in order to 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 know where to place the next element you just apply this formula and this is, this is the modular operation which will allow you to determine where to place your next element